Wanda and today I would like to show you how I make uh, this baby beanie. It's super easy, goes really fast. You can use whatever hook you want for this. I made it for a newborn so I used a size uh, G hook. I used for this the baby weight yarn and you can do it all in solid colors. You can switch and do more than one color. It's up to you. This one's a little bit thicker, the yarn. And basically, it's all just crocheted in a circular fashion. Um, so, the beginning, in the middle, we will start with the disappearing uh, magic circle. And with 12 half, oh, excuse me, with 12 double crochets on the second row, then we would chain two up. And we would do two double crochets in each chain. So, we're going to do an increase. 12 times so then we would have 24 stitches there 24 double crochets on our third row you could either continue with the increases and do two stitches in, in every chain so you would have you know an increase in each one or if you wanted to make it a little more narrow depending on the baby you could do uh, on the first chain you would do an increase so you would do two there and the next one one put double crochet the next one another increase then one all the way across and then after the third row, when we go up, all our other rows will then just be one double crochet in each space. We will no longer be increasing. So it will all be just one after that. And um, you would be making, depending on the baby, between 12 to 15 rows. And then on the very end, our last one, we are just going to do a half crochet around the edge to just kind of keep it that way or you could also do trim or an edge whatever um, if you make it on. So we will start with our disappearing magic circle. People call it the magic circle and the short end will go on your left hand, wrap it around two fingers so you got a little loop there. See? Get your hook, you stick it there underneath and pull it up. Got your first chain there. Your first loop, excuse me. And bring up for two chains because we're doing a double crochet. So we would be chaining up two. I hope you can see that. And then we loop around your hook. Go under and have three loops on your hook. Go through two, go to three, then do two more. And see your chain there. Continue doing that all the way around until you have twelve chains. Double crochet there. showed you at the beginning I made that with a size E hook in order to demonstrate this a little bit clearer I'm using the size G. Once you have your 12 um, spaces there double crochet we'll pull the short end to close that up and now we will use a slip stitch on the one two second chain there just like the slip stitch through there grab it and now here we will continue with two chains for row two. One, two, keep our thing, and then on the first chain there, I'm going to go in and do my first double crochet right here. Put in. I'm going to use a safety pin, it's easier for me to get it in and out. I want to be able to mark where my um, spaces are so that I don't over crocheting around I don't want to lose face place my place here then I would go and do my second 
double crochet in that first chain. So because we're doing an increase in each chain, there's going to be two. So here's my second space. Same way. I have the double crochet going in, coming out, going over two, then to the other two, the next chain, third chain, another increase. All the way around. And we will continue this all the way around Come to our last chain and we are going to slip stitch into the place where we have that marker and slip one, two, second chain there. We're going to bring it in and tie it up. Now we will continue to do the same thing uh, on the third row. If you are um, you could do either two, two all the way around in each space, or you could do two in the first chain, okay, and then one in the next chain. It depends how you want to do it. Here, I am going to go all the way around, and I'm going to put two in each chain. This would be a bigger size if I use this one to be for say being like a year or so. Other smaller chains, the other smaller hooks are perfect for when we're trimming. So continue this way all the way around, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so here we are coming to the end of our third row. So we would just do our last two chains, a double crochet. Space here. Get out of the way for you. And now we're going to slip stitch here for a marker like that. One, two, on our second chain there. I'm going to bring it in. Now we have one, two, three rows. Now we do our Two chains on our next stitch. Okay. Now from here on out, there will be no more increases. It will just be one double crochet in each space in each chain. We will continue this for 12 rows. Okay, for time constraints, because I have turned on time today, uh, I'm going to pretend that this is already our 12 rows. If you want to be able to roll up like a little beam like this, then you were going to need at least oh, about 17 rows between. So this, depending on the baby size, would be either 12 to 15 rows. If you're going to roll it back, then I would definitely leave it like this without finishing the edge and then do at least 17 rows. If you leave it this way without a different edge here, it will be stretchier, so it's easier for it to fit a baby's head that you're not sure of the size. If you want it to look a little bit more finished, like you can see here, it's a double crochet and then a single crochet. Then um, if you want to finish it with a single crochet, once you do your slip stitch here, then of course you would just chain one and then just single crochet. You could do a half, or you could do the same thing. Any variation there, you just want to be able to close up that area. Um, I just like to do it either the half or the single. If you want to, um, this is obviously a blue one, so it'd probably be for a boy. If you want to make one for a girl, like I did here in the pink, you can also. Um, I have this very bright one, so you can see the. the the contrast on here I just made a little edge I left it this way and then I just made like a little scalloped edge and it just gives it kind of a little ruffly look and that's totally up to you on this one I embellished and I put a little butterfly in there um, just for the fall I thought it would be cute you could also put the flowers or a pom-pom on there you could just do the plain 
if you want to do this little scallop edge, what you would do is leave your 15, your 12 or 15th row this way without any finishing. You would just do your slip stitch, your first chain, and then you would go one, two, three for a, a smaller little chain, and then you hook on there. You skip one chain, and then you go, and then you go slip stitch one, two, three, skip one, and then you slip stitch on the next chain. So now you have to in there, and then you just repeat that one all the way around. One, two, three, skip one, and slip stitch. And that is going to give you that little, excuse me, oops, it's going to give you this little, um, kind of a little wavy edge, like we have on the orange one. If you want your wave to be even more exaggerated, then you could use five chains skip one chain and then slip stitch like this. So you go one, two, three, oops, three, four, five, and then you would skip one chain, skipping that one, and then you're going to slip stitch in the next. And then you can see the difference. See? This one is, I kind of like it a little bit more subtle. If you want it bigger, you could do it that way. It's up to you. And that's how you would finish it. If you wanted to make this tighter, the stitch, so that it looks like a knitted um, effect, you could do the single crochet, of course, then the same amount here, 24, then, I mean 12, and then 24, and then double again, if you like. Of course, then you would need to have at least 24, maybe 25 rows, so that it could be the right My size. My next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some pom-poms and how to make simple booties. Uh, so this, I hope you found this useful. Remember, it's just a beginner project. There's really no right or wrong. If you don't, um, if you want, you could do it single color or you could alternate colors. I hope you like this. Um, and good.